Brought to you by the new Dodge. It's about change. By Kinko's, the new way to offer. By Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. And by the motor oil that provides maximum protection. Castrol GTX. Drive hard. Juan Castillo, the offensive line coach. Look, he's on crutches. He got hit by a cart right here at Veterans Stadium. He had knee surgery on it, and he hasn't missed any time at all. The only time he missed was the one day for surgery, and he'll fight. He, he said to you, standing up in meetings, he almost wanted to cry, but he wouldn't let his guys see that he's in pain. Eagles first and goal from the eight-yard line. This is Staley. Staley gets inside the five. Somebody's helmet comes off. Staley works his way to about the three-yard line, depending on the spot. Derek Smith made the tackle. Yeah, yeah, when you have an offensive line coach that has that kind of principles about him and that kind of fight and that kind of will, it carries over to his pupils. Trey Thomas, Jermaine Mayberry, those guys, they're getting better. And actually, in my opinion, I think it's the best offensive line they've had in Philadelphia since the Super Bowl year. These guys are getting better. It's a pretty young group. They're getting strong. Ian Beckles comes to Tampa Bay. He's helped out. Second goal from the four. Staley hit behind the line but kept on going. Lang had a piece of him, couldn't hold him. And he got a couple down to the two-yard line. Twice on this drive, the Eagles converted from third and 16 after sacks. Pete delivered for first down plays. And he's four of four passing on the drive for 51 yards. Tim, we talked about the feeling of talking to both teams. And he sat there and everybody had all that ugliness. All we heard was negative stuff. And here you are in a situation where now you can erase some of that. You have a chance to erase Third and goal. Play action. Wide open. Touchdown. Jason uh, Sincero, Sincino, pardon me, Kasim Sincino, the tight end. The rookie just brought up from the practice squad from Syracuse. Nobody on him. You set that play up by the prior two plays. Your offensive line's in there mashing. You're running deuce. You're hitting him in the mouth. You're fighting. You're scratching. And you line up and do the same thing. Play action. And you slip an unexpected tight end outside. from Bono and the Eagles widen their lead 17 to 6 832 to play you look pretty tonight thank you like a butterfly or a soft peach whose supple texture is honest and beautiful and I think we pair well. Me too. But a soft peach, huh? <laughs> Gossamer Bay. The wine says a lot. New file, begin dictation. Who are you talking to? My computer. I do that too sometimes. No, you don't understand. I got this new software. I talk at types. You talk at types? I talk at types. It's typing. Because I'm talking. What is a type? Whatever I say. So let me try. No. Why? Because. It's mine. Get your own. Now when I talk at types. <laughs> Dodge Ram was the first and is still the only full-size pickup to be ranked most appealing by J.D. Power & Associates. It was the first to offer a 10-cylinder engine, and it was the first quad cab. And now, for the first time, we're offering $1,000 back on the truck that changed the rules. But hurry, this is one first that won't last. $1,000 cash back on 98 Rams ends November 9th. Hank's secret is out. You were born with a narrow urethra. And it can only mean one thing. Was I adopted? An all-new King of the Hill, 8, 7 Central, Fox Tuesday. A 75-yard drive, 15 plays, culminating in this score. The reserve tight end, Kasim Sincino, wide open in the end zone, 17 to 6. Rodney Pete, 5 of 5 on the drive for 56 yards. And third down conversions for Philadelphia is what's been doing it. They're 50% right now. That drive 
They converted on two big ones. Colonials kickoff taken by Mitchell at the goal line. An open field tackle. Mike Caldwell, reserve linebacker, number 56. When you take a look at the touchdown, first remember I tell you they're playing smash mouth, smash mouth. Watch the effort by the offensive line to sell the play action, and then they slip the tight end out. Look at, look at it. Everybody's playing run. All the defenders are playing run. You slip the tight end out. And when you're mashing, watch Ken Harvey. He's going to engage. Now watch. He stopped. See his head go down. He's engaging. He's fighting for ground, and he gets. He leans forward. He drops his head. It goes down, and he can't see, and then he can't stay with the tight end. So the Redskins up against it now. 8.23 as 9.19 was taken off the clock by the Eagles. Perot almost oh. intercepted. That's two James Darling should have had today. He's got to be sick. That ball deflected en route and giving Darling a shot at it. Second and 10 it'll leave for the Redskins at their own 14-yard line. Caldwell comes on the field. Darling's a guy that Emmett Thomas says, you know, we had him playing it in the backup role at middle linebacker, and he's a young guy. We were confusing him. This week, we just left him at outside and said, get comfortable learning what we're doing. John Harris, who got a hand on the ball. for Rock's pass. This one Willie tipped G. away. William Thomas slaps that ball out of the air. Yeah, look at Norv. Norv's got that look on his face. You, you saw it pretty much the whole game. And he said, you know, he's wondering what's going to happen. How's my team going to respond when something bad goes wrong? Well, they had the long drive down the field on them. Now he's looking. He wants to see how they're going to respond. And, you know, inevitably, at the end of all this, and no matter what, you've got to be able to look at the guys next to you in your locker room on Monday. The Rock, three of eight since he came in to replace the starter, Green. Four receivers in, and he is sacked inside the five. Hollis Thomas. Thomas. He's been bringing it all day long. Hollis Thomas, number 78, right here. Watch him loop around on a little stunt. And you know, Nord wants to see how they respond, how they're going to respond to bad things. This, this is what the Redskins have been doing. And like I said, you've got to look at the guys beside you on Monday morning. And you know, 10 years from now, you're not going to remember if you beat Philadelphia, if you beat Denver, who you're going to beat. But you're going to know if the guy you lined up next to, you're going to know whether he was a fighter or a dog. That Turks punt taken at the 35. It's Freddie Solomon. Solomon has him in scoring position again. And I think for Washington, I, I think a lot of those guys are going to be looking at each other and thinking they're not fighters. Yeah, Bill, and not only do they look at each other and say they're not fighters, but it is hard to play in this league and to get a win. But look at the effort here. Look at the effort. That, that, mm -hmm. You can't that, that, have that. I can't watch it. But the effort was there from Freddie Solomon running hard and far. 42-yard return down to the 24-yard line. Look at him here, an extra dive. And the Eagles in scoring position again. Charlie Garner. Garner gets a couple. Special teams are nothing but attitude. I want you to watch. And you tell me, you be the judge. You know, they have a judge here in, in Philadelphia. I want you to watch over here. I want you to watch right here. Watch. You tell me, is this effort? You, I, you tell me. If, if that's effort, and, and if you think that you can win with that kind of effort, then you deserve to be a Redskins fan. Well, the Eagles have certainly played harder based on the evidence, and the scoreboard reflects their effort. 17 to 6, 6.54 to go in the fourth. Out by Liam on Evans. You know, I, you know. Hey, first of all, I, I got to say this. I apologize. 
Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I apologize for getting this upset about it, but it, it, that bothers me. And it bothered me when I played, and if I saw it from a guy, I, I wouldn't be able to tolerate it. And look at the look at his face. I know it bothers Norm. I know it bothers him. Ronnie, I know you're over here. You, you have a sick bucket over here beside you. I'll have that removed. Excuse me, can you remove this? <laughs> but it, it, that's the, in this business, I don't care how much talent you have. I don't care how fast you can run a 40. I don't care how high you can jump. If you don't give any effort, you can't play, and you can't be good, and you can't succeed. Eagles with a third and a long one, and there's Garner running straight ahead for the first down inside the 10. Mike Nolan said it. Mike Nolan said it best. Defense court for the Washington, for the Washington Redskins said it. He said, look, the way this game has been played, the way this game has started, the way this game will continue, it starts with heart. It starts with playing with toughness. That's how this game has to be played. And today, what you see with the Eagles, especially right there on that last play, you see that, Bill. You see the heart. You see them balling up their fists, trying to get after people to win this game. Spot the ball at the 11, rather than the 9. And Garner takes it over the 10-yard line again this time. And driven back once again. But let's see where they spot it. Should be about a gain of one. Nolan also said that his defense is not playing together as a defense at all. That was a pretty stark statement from the defensive coordinator. That's uh, his own observation. Irving and the injured Fryer. player is Irving Fryer on that last play. Oh, he's in pain, too. Mm. Getting attention on the field. The teammates and the training staff out there with Irving Fryer will take this time out and be right back. Welcome to Dodge Durango 101. Today, I'll be covering the 5.2 and 5.9 liter Magnum V8, vis-a-vis -vis Durango's superiority in the class structure of domestic compact sport utility vehicles. You're not listening. You're just staring at the Durango, aren't you? Aren't you? Why do I even bother? I don't know, I'm just standing up here like a big doofus. Boundaries. From the very beginning, we have resented them. So what happens? Some of us grow up to be business people. And what do we face? More boundaries. The telecommunications boundaries that separate local from long distance, voice from data, domestic from global, and force you to accept separate carriers, separate networks, a blizzard of bills. Is a way through those barriers, right through here. Port of entry to a seamless global network that lets you have one carrier, one contact, one bill. And makes it seem as though the old boundaries no longer exist. Because for you, they won't. On that, from MCI Worldcom. It's the most hair-raising Halloween special ever. I'll show you hair. Yeah. An all-new Simpsons, part of a full hour, two weeks from tonight on Fox. Well, you two guys have been talking about tough all day long in this game. There's a tough guy, not the biggest, but one of the toughest, 36-year-old Irving Fryer. He bounced back up, obviously was in some pain there, but he's got his got himself over to the sideline. Looks like he wants to come back in. Yeah, he's, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you okay, Bill? Uh, <laughs> after you gave me those Valium, I'm fine. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> Second down. And as Turner, the fullback, a flag is down as he gets down to about the eight-yard line. Kevin Turner and Marvicus, Marvicus Patton put the tackle on him. It's going to be a holding call against the Eagles. And usually when you run outside... Holding. 87 of the offense. 10 yards. Repeat second down. And usually when you run outside, the tight end is trying to seal it off, and he has a tendency just to get a little too much jersey right there. And that's Jason Dunn. At the end, he didn't need that. He did not need that at the end. He did a, he did a great job blocking. The way he spun him around there, I, I think he'd be a heck of a square dancer. Do -si do something like that. Swing your partner around and around. Right. Tim, you know a little bit about that. Second and 18 at the 19-yard line. 
Garner goes in motion. And they go to Garner in the corner. Incomplete. Patton, the linebacker, ran with him very well. He never got turned around, but he didn't allow the receiver to get the ball. Now there's, there's Marcus Spatton, and he's a guy that'll fight you to the end. And I want you, they try to create a match mismatch. Watch, right here. On, on the running back. Now he's got to run man-to-man -man with the running back. And he gets his head around there right at the end, Bill, and that's where you're not that called not face guard. Yeah, That's where they, they don't call pass interference on you. But had he kept his hands up and kept his head straight at the receiver, they would have called pass interference. Yeah, he did get a look back after all. I didn't think he had. He made an excellent play, so it remains third and 18 now. And he is set. He goes down at the 32-yard line. In Dukwe. In Dukwe, Kalu made the tackle. Reserve defensive end number 72, the second-year man from Rice. What, well, well, second-year man from Rice, but he was in Philadelphia. He, he was here on the practice squad, number 72. I want you to watch. He's had some good rushes today. You know, you come back and you're playing your old team, you always want to make a statement. And, and pretty much for Ndukwe, individually, he's had some nice rushes today. Well, meanwhile, that was a good series for the Redskins. Defensively, driving them all the way out to the 31-yard line. And preventing what might have been the knockout blow. There's 4.42 to go. You've got a timeout on the field. And Philadelphia is just keeping up with their average. You know, they 25 sacks, five-game average, and then they get four today. So they're right on pace there. That's an area that they do have to improve on. But this guy, Rodney Pete, Rodney Pete, not on this pass drive, but the drive before, he's kept his team alive, Bill. He's kept his team involved in this game. He's done an excellent job making great decisions. And it's funny because when we look around the league, you got to have a veteran quarterback. Burline throwing the ball well in Carolina today. Boniel trying for 48 yards, and it is no good. Boniel missing from 48. And so the score remains 17 to 6, 436 remaining regulation time in Philadelphia. Break free. Experience clear possibilities. Claritin. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist today. Find out whether Claritin is right for you. Claritin tablets. Claritin D24 hour. Claritin ready tabs. Claritin syrup. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Claritin. For a $5 rebate certificate and free information, call 1-8... So the bunny never stopped with the old battery. But we're giving him a new advanced one that'll let him go even longer. Messes with your head, don't it? Burn in hell for all eternity. Been there, done that. Peter Horton, Brimstone, premiering October 27th on Fox. Well, the Washington Redskins faced uh, with having to score some points on this drive. 4.36 to go. Norm Turner, head coach, Emmett Thomas, defensive boss for the Philadelphia Eagles. This will be the big series here. And Emmett really, coming into the game, you thought that he was the one that was going to have to struggle today to keep up with Norm's offense and Terry Allen. But he's done a great job. The only game this year the Redskins have not scored a touchdown in yet. Rock, one of his last six passes is coming in in relief of Trent Green, and that is incomplete. Intended for Asher, who wanted an interference call. Matt Stevens had the coverage. Stevens, third year man from Appalachian State, comes in on the nickel package for the Eagles. Second and 10 from the 39 yard line. The Eagles got the ball to the nine of Washington, but then were pushed back by a good defensive effort. Bonehill missed a 48 yard field goal try. Durant starts to scramble and he'll take off. He's got some real estate there and has a first down and gets near the 40 yard line of the Eagles. 20 yard gain for Gus Perot. Hugh Douglas range back to drag him down and Washington in the hurry up. 
Ball at the 41-yard line of the Eagles. Out of the backfield of Brian Mitchell. And it's incomplete. Mitchell had the ball in his hands, but not long enough to make it a completion. It was knocked loose. Second down. You know, Gus, Gus hasn't had the reps. He's been sitting on the bench. And, you know, you're in your two-minute offense. You, you need, in your two-minute offense, a guy that has some poison been back there, been through the repetition before. When you're behind and you have had to play catch up, and I always said, and everyone thinks, if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. And, and if you have no quarterbacks, you sure as heck don't want them in two minute situations. And here's down, an example. Down by, yeah, there it is right there. Have to call a timeout. That leaves them one left. Down by 11 points, four minutes left, and, and really, you don't have a quarterback. And, and in that situation, that's when you need one. Well, that part of your point, too, is that they divided the reps this week. Norm Turner told us that, so did Trent Green. There's Green, who was lifted earlier, uh, saying that, yeah, I, I expected them to give for run snaps during the week, so now you've divided the time to prepare for the game and things like this. Wouldn't you like to know, when the three of them are standing there all together, what was going on really in their minds? Turnovers that really damaged Washington as they have all season long. There's one there, an effort the try. Yeah, and that hurt our line. That, that was the one. That yeah. was the one. Yeah, the, the other the other turnover when Al Wallace stripped the ball. That, that was a legit, legitimate play. But the one where Terry Allen was down on the one yard line, I mean, that, that could have been called for forward progress stop. Nonetheless, they're faced with keeping the ball going and scoring on this drive. Perot trying to find an open man, and he's got it. Short of the first down, but out of bounds. Mitchell stops the clock, 3.53 to go. And a flag on the play. Flag back at the line of scrimmage. Actually, it was thrown by the field judge downfield. He went right at the 41-yard line. Good chuck by the field judge is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, arm, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> well, number 24 of the defense, unnecessary roughness. 15 yards and a first down. Tim McTire on the jam. Watch, watch, watch on the jam. Tim McTire, 24, tries to right on the jam. Watch the shock. Watch, boom. Whoa. Right up in the head. Holy smokes. And, and, you know, Some shot on Shepard. Unnecessary roughness, Ronnie. I'll, I'll delegate that over to you. Well, you can't you can't make that shot to the head, and I'm sure that he'll talk to Gene Washington from the NFL league office this week because it went to the head. But when you're going to jam a guy, you got to get below the head. You got to hit him in the chest. And they go all the way to the 16-yard line with that penalty. So a break for the Redskins, and not a great play for McTire to make. And I think that's a byproduct of the play early, Bill. When when Leslie Shepard got the jam to the face. They're looking for that more now because of that play early on. Well, that was uh, Shepard again taking yeah, he's, a shot. He's, he's, he's been getting beat up on, huh? About to get him into some of that headgear. We'll have to get him that boxing headgear to wear around his helmet. First down at the 16-yard line. 3.53 to go. Mitchell alone set back. Shepard in motion. Incomplete. Willie Thomas in and out of the hands. Willie Thomas had a better shot at it than Shepard did. It looked like there was not a receiver on the route where the ball was going. And, and I saw this earlier in the season with Harai. Watch, there's nobody over here. This is either broken assignment right there. And yeah, remember the New York game when he threw that interception and there was absolutely nobody around? And that, that was on Gus. That, that wasn't a receiver breakdown. That was on Gus. Try to stick it in there. You got to lead the receiver, and then the, re the linebacker can't react to that ball on there. Second and 10. That's complete to Leslie Shepard. It gets down near the five yard line. That's That's it complete to Leslie Shepard. And it is a first down, first and goal. Redskins with one timeout remaining. 332 and counting down. And again, Barat trying to get the play called here in the hurry up. 
Mitchell straight ahead to about the two. Gus is going to burn a timeout here. And done it so far. They've only got one. He was he, he was going. He, he had gave the timeout sign to the official. I guess they said he said no, don't do it. So I think Norm wants to. I think Gus wants to hold on to that. He wants to hold on to that last timeout. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Mitchell. Mitchell from a yard out, and the crowd quiet here at the vet. 2:46 to play. And you go for two here. You go for two. You get two. Now you're 14. And you can kick a field goal to tie this up. Leslie Shepard started off the field, but he's back in. And they are going for two, obviously, with this huddle. Barat spreads everybody out. Empty house, Asher starts in motion, comes back the other way. Quarterback draw. Barat trying to get to the end zone. Is he in? No signal from the officials yet. And they say no. Barat stopped outside of the goal line. And so it'll be a six-point play with the touchdown. But no extra points. Dawkins slow to get up for the Eagles. Washington with 2.46 remaining. Well, this, this is the touchdown. This is the handoff to Brian Mitchell. Good hole up front. They pull Trey Johnson. Mitchell finds his way across. So Trey Johnson pulls, and Mitchell goes over top of Dawkins. <laughs> well, this is a quarterback draw. This is the design play. This isn't just Gus. Oh, I believe they're going to call it down because right here, watch Milstead. Milstead comes in and tries to push him forward. And I think that's why they said no. Milstead comes in with the push and gets that extra push forward that carried him across. But the official said before he came and pushed, he was down. Meanwhile, Dawkins still being attended to back uh, at the goal line where that last play of Farratt. See them working on his leg or his knee there and. Dawkins a safety in the midst of that pileup to stop Barat. And, and, and you see the official ask Marshall to leave, Anthony Marshall. He asked him, he said, please leave. That, that, that's the new thing this year. And it, it started because of last year with Rodgers up in Detroit. They, they don't want the players on the field around the injured players gathered around them. They know that their concerns there. They know that they care about what's going on, but they don't want everyone collaborating around there and, and talking and seeing what's going on and trying to help the matter when actually with all the people gathered around it'll hurt it. Yeah, Bill, I, you know what's funny about that is that everybody on the sideline is always concerned about the players and it's hard to kind of control that emotion when you see one of your fellow uh, fellow teammates go down, but I'm glad that the NFL implemented that rule and put that in place. Leslie Shepard, we talked about how he's been getting wrapped a couple of times in the head today. Obviously, he was looking for a little payback. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to. You have to take it into your own hands only when you know you're not going to get flagged for it. That was McTire who gave him that shot to the head that he was penalized for and helped them uh, get the field position for the touchdown by Mitchell. Well, that's Dawkins being helped off. The funny thing is, too, Tim, is you never forget those plays. Ronnie can tell you. Yeah, I got a guy out here, Urban Fryer, that hit me and knocked me off my feet. You, you never forget them. And, and, I'll never forget them. And you can go back and you can play four or five plays, a series, a quarter, three quarters. But if the opportunity arises, you'll remember that number and you'll take your shot when you have it. You've been talking about that all week, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the Irving Fire play. Onside kick try for the Redskins. No, Blanchard goes deep with it. Show onside and opted to kick the ball deep. That's Deuce Staley. Staley gets up over the 25. They'll spot it at the 28-yard line of Philadelphia. And a late flag. 
Kemper's a little frayed here with seen evidence of it in the last couple of minutes. So much at stake in this game. Even, even though there are two winless teams, it makes it even more so. Personal foul, Philadelphia. Motion's running high, and there's been some fouling going on. We've showed some of it to you. Some of them have been caught. Some of them haven't. 0 and 5 brings out the worst in a lot of people, man. At the at the wrong time, though, and we've seen it all day. We've seen it with penalties on the Washington Redskins offensive line. We've seen it now in this situation. Personal foul on 86 unnecessary roughness. Any after the play's over, he's been disqualified from the game. First down. That was the returner, Copeland. Copeland, yeah. Hello, is Staley, who is uh, who actually returned the ball, but. Copeland is ejected for some unsportsmanlike conduct during or after that play. And we have 2.36 to go. The ball is backed up with the penalty to the 14-yard line of the Eagles. Washington needs a major score to win this game. They've got to get the ball and make something happen. A field goal won't help them. 17 to 13 the score. 17 to 12, pardon me, I'm off by a point. Garner, the ball carrier. And Washington uses their last timeout. And they get one more at the two minute mark. Two minute, that's why they did it too. That's why you, you always use it there to make them run one more play before the two minutes. Kickoff return by Philadelphia. Copeland's going to come into the picture right here. And he gets hit in the back. Chris Thomas just leveled him in the back. And, and then as the play goes on, you don't see it there, but Copeland retaliates. And you know they always tell you it's the second guy that gets caught, and then that's what happened. See, Copeland in the heat of battle got, got a shot there from Thomas. Thomas got away with one. But then after the play's over, that everything slows down, you retaliate, and that's when the official sees it. And then what you do, instead of a retaliating, you put it in your notebook, and you save it, because you're going to see him again. You're going to see him again down the road. You don't retaliate. You put it in your notebook, and then you worry about it later. About three or four weeks of see him again. Charlie Garner on second and eight. Did not get much on that play. 19 Washington is out of their timeouts and, and for Washington really you know they scored on that drive with Gus let them down there but it was the defense if you remember they stepped up before that they stepped up and got the ball back remember the big sack they stepped up and now they're stepping up again to get the ball back to the Redskins offense NFL Sunday is brought to you by Miller Lite, an official sponsor of the NFL and Super Bowl 33. Yeah, they speak Australian. Right. Locksmith. Beer. Foster's Australian for beer. Buy a set of four selected Goodyear tires before November 28th and get a $50 or $100 U.S. savings bond. For the retailer nearest you, call 1-800-GOODYEAR. This is a school where the toughest courses are the most popular. Lectures are a joy and no one ever cuts class. This renowned institution is the Nicholas Flick Golf School. Can you feel that? Yeah. Where the faculty is unparalleled. Your elbows softer. And the dean has six masters. People might confuse you for a golf. When you go, bring your visa card. Because of the Nicholas Flick that Golf School, nice. they don't take American Express. Oh. You've done your homework. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Welcome to my mailboxes, etc. You know, this may look like a regular mailbox, but let me tell you the secret. You get a street address, not just the P.O. box number. That means we can sign for your FedEx shipments and other packages. You get an entire support staff. Where else are you going to be able to call and check your mail? I mean, come on, who's going to do that for you? We'll also forward that mail anywhere in the world. Can your mailbox do that? You could win $50,000. Play What's in the Box, now at your neighborhood mailboxes, etc. The X-Files 
the new season begins November 8th on Fox. Don't forget, after football, you'll see Michelle Kwan and some of the world's finest skaters meeting the first and hottest new major skating event of the season, the first Union Grand Slam of skating today on Fox. Right after football, Rodney Pete was two of seven with an interception back in the second quarter. At one point, he was 9 of 17. He's now 15 of 28. A touchdown pass, a touchdown run, and a chance to keep the ball moving and maintain the victory the first of the season for Philadelphia. For the Redskins, they need to stop them right now. Get the ball back. There it is. Good penetration upfield by Ken Harvey. Loss on the play brings up fourth down. 146 and counting down. Remember, the Redskins are out of timeouts. Well, you, you do here for Philadelphia. You, you take the, you let the clock run down, take the delay game, back up five yards, let the clock run down as far as you can, punt away. Brian Mitchell, what do you think, Bill? I mean, here's a guy that has returned so many big punts in his career. So many big punts for the Washington Redskins. And he's got their only touchdown of the game from one yard out, helped by the unsportsmanlike penalty. Well, they didn't let it, they didn't take the penalty. They didn't run it down to the penalty. They ran it down to one second and took a timeout. So the line of scrimmage is still at the 19, but they've used up some time. 114 left on the clock. Well, you don't want to give up real estate right now. John Harbaugh, the special teams coach in the middle. You talked about it earlier, Rod. He really has been energetic for this group. He really helped them out, brought them a new spark they hadn't had here in a while. Of course, that spark and that energy and enthusiasm kind of runs through the Harbaugh family, doesn't it? Yeah, it yes. does. <laughs> Brother Jim, coach of the Ravens. Uh, quarterback coach. of the Ravens. Quarterback of the Ravens. He's, no, I, no, he doesn't want to be coach yet. His father is a coach in college. Western Kentucky. The punt away cleanly, and Mitchell has to chase it. Comes down near the sideline and goes out. Good punt. Good punt by Hutton, and, and the reason being it was the angle. Between the numbers and the sidelines is where you want it. Takes a hit, bounces forward, goes out of bound. That's an unreturnable kick. You don't want to put it in the returner's hands because then anything can happen. He takes that away. Eliminate the returner altogether. 42-yard punt. And the Redskins will start from their 40-yard line without a timeout. 106 remaining. And remember, they need a touchdown. Medical report on Brian Dawkins. He's gone off for x-rays on his leg. So they're without one of their solid safeties here for this final stab by the Washington Redskins. Barat, and he is set. Never saw Hugh Douglas coming from behind. Oh, when you're going to pick it up a notch, now's the time to do it. You know what they're going to do. You know they're going to throw the ball. You pin your ear back, and you bring it. Under a minute we go. Sideliner incomplete. Intended for Albert Connell. But, Bill, th they got to block Douglas. They got five guys to block three. That's right. It's been a three-man rush both times. And watch the effort at the end, Bill. And Trey Johnson turns the wrong way. He, he's, he's turned the wrong way. You look at it's a guard. You can't not on pass rush, not on three man rush. You can't favor one side too much. You have to check inside, see if your center needs help. Look back over to the tackle, see if he's okay, and go to where you need the help. Barat five of fourteen. This is the biggest one of the day. Connects with Mitchell. Hit and stop well short of first down yardage. They've got to 38 it. seconds. They've got to go. No timeouts for the Redskins. Barat calls out the play to the wide receivers. Tight end Asher did not get to the first down marker. Sure didn't. No. It'll be Eagles ball for one play. Anthony Marshall 
Made the tackle. You can see where the ball is spotted. The marker's right on the midfield stripe. Oh, they're going to bring it out for, for a measurement, but it's not close. Yeah, it's, it's not close at all. And, you know, we, we've been emphasizing effort. We've been emphasizing toughness. And it comes down to this, though, right there, Bill. Comes down to that play. Not being able to get the first down. So the Philadelphia Eagles have the ball. They have 17 seconds left to knock off the clock, and they will have their first victory of this 1998 season. In a battle of the winless teams, the Eagles have prevailed, and I think that uh, the effort and toughness you guys talked about throughout the game, you'd have to give that edge to the Eagles. It's not just on the scoreboard. They were the stronger, more determined team, it appears. But Ray Rhodes is that kind of guy. Ray is a guy that coached you and I, Bill, and we know the kind of person he is. He wants to get guys that will give you that. And, and today, yeah, they had some mistakes, but they gave him effort. Not only that, they asked him during the week, would he consider resigning the way the team got started? He said, what, me quit? You'll never see that happen. He said, I have too many guys that I am loyal to, and they're loyal to me. I wouldn't think about quitting. They fire me, that's another matter, but don't talk about quitting. So he's got his first victory. Norv Turner and the Redskins fall to 0-6. Coaches meet in the middle of the field, and they can certainly commiserate with each other, but it's Ray Rhodes who can go home with a victory in his pocket, and Norv Turner has to go home with another disappointing defeat.